I want to tell you today that you have a future you have a destiny you have a hope you have a plan that God is that, that God has for you and this plan God says that it's good for you and any dream any hope anything in your life that may be died anything that maybe you buried and give up on God says he can rise because same spirit that lifted Christ from the dead lives inside of you tonight you didn't hear what I said the same spirit that raised Christ from the dead lives inside of you tonight hallelujah 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 the same spirit that lifted Christ from death that defied all the laws of physics defied the death and everything that that that, that could possibly stand in the way the same spirit that raised Christ from the dead it lives inside of us and if he can lift him up from death then he can lift up lift us up from any situation he can lift your family from any situation he can lift your financial life from any situation he can lift you up this is the spirit of God he is a good spirit he's a spirit of light there's no darkness in him and he wants the best and good for us amen amen church if you believe it put your hands together for Jesus hallelujah right now we come into the time when we're gonna pray and we're gonna pray for our city we're gonna pray for the people that God has put in our lives we're gonna pray for family members we're gonna pray for those that cannot help themselves we're gonna pray for those that are so hopeless in their situation they don't know a way out I want to read to you before we pray so that we have a foundation of faith and the Word of God is the, always the best foundation for our faith amen I want to read to you from Acts 12 chap, uh, Acts chapter 12 verse 5 it says but while Peter was in prison the church prayed very earnestly for him I just give you a little story the background story for, for the verse that I read so there was this king named Herod and he started persecuting Christians and in this particular situation he got James and Peter into prison and then he killed James with a sword and then uh, the church when she saw when the church saw that that uh, Herod King Herod he began he was getting ready to kill Paul church uh, church began to pray for Paul and then angel came and appeared to Paul and brought him out of the prison I want you to just kind of uh, see a couple things and just draw a couple conclusions out of this story before we're gonna pray I want you to see Herod is an enemy. He's an enemy of church. He's an enemy of people. John, I want you to see John and Paul as, as souls, as people. And he and uh, Herod is an enemy, as Satan, demons, they hold people in prisons. They take and put people in prisons. And Bible says that their job is to kill, steal and destroy. And we see it in this situation that James was killed. And when church realized that they need to pray, they begin to pray. Then when church started to pray, the, uh, Paul, uh, Peter was released for the, from the prison. When church begins to pray, souls begin to be released. When church begins to pray, salvations begin to happen. The chains begin to fall off. I want you to see one thing. When church began to pray, angel came and shone a light. I want you to see angel as the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit comes and brings the light. Light is the salvation light shines into your life the way we came to Christ the way I came to Christ is at one point in our life the light was shown into our life and we saw that we were in the darkness and we and Holy Spirit let us out when Holy Spirit comes number two chains begin to fall off we see that uh, chains of Peter if you read it uh, further chains fall off number three that happened Holy Spirit began to lead Peter out of the prison that speaks of strongholds in the minds of people beginning to change people beginning to get out they begin to like we've been talking past couple months our mind begins to get renewed but only that happens because church in verse 5 begin to pray so if we I want you to, to notice one thing I want you to notice one thing that church could not go and free Peter under physical strength they couldn't do it there was Herod there was armies there was soldier and he was deep in prison they couldn't get to him we are on our own strength can do nothing the only thing that we can do as a church is we can pray and then Holy Spirit can go and set people free I remember a story of, of my brother if you've been coming to your church you probably heard it almost every single service but here's he hit what it was when 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 my brother David and he's here now and you can see him when he got deep into drugs and when he when just 
devil just really binding him to the point that he got so heavy on drugs that he lost his mind he forgot his name he, he forgot how to read write he forgot even how to tie a shoe I remember a moment where we had to take I had to take him to the court to go he had to go face his his fines and everything and I had to tie his shoes because he couldn't tie his own shoes and we talked to him we pleaded with him we begged him David stop this is not the way to go we asked him parents cried and asked him please stop don't do this don't you see you're destroying your life nothing happened because you on your own strength can do nothing it's true. this is why we pray this is why we intercede because as though we do our job and we go witness and we go invite people we go talk to our family members we go try to tell them look this is a, there is a way out there is a better way there is a higher way but at the end of the day our efforts fall short until we step in into the spiritual realm we partner up with the Holy Spirit and we come against the enemy and Holy Spirit comes to people he wakes them up he shines the light in their life he leads them to Jesus the chains as a result begin to fall off of their life their mind begins to change and today you see David you talk to him he's a completely different person and the best part of all Holy Spirit angel set Peter free so that he can go and preach the gospel Holy Spirit sets people free he will set our relatives our friends our co-workers our, our, our classmates he will set them free and he will use them to save the world and today you can see David he's a witness for Jesus Christ everywhere he goes he's in sauna he's in a gym he's out on the street every time he gets to talk to a person he tells them what God has done in their life and this is a result because in Acts chapter 12 verse 5 church begin to pray earnestly church are you ready to pray today earnestly are you ready to see people like David many people like those that those marriages that are lost in confusion in a break of divorce Do you, are you ready to see those those marriages being restored are you ready to see those that are on their sick bed and they're facing death ready to get up from their sick bed and come out into the light come out of their prison are you ready to see drug addicts and prostitutes though homeless and those that are just nobodies that society rejected them come out of their prison and and serve Jesus and preach Jesus on the streets but it happens only if you and I take a step of faith and we begin to pray.